uh, I think uh, the premiere has started. Uh, so, hi guys, I'm Rafa from Akidudes here, and this is part two of a Python coding class. And in last class, I taught I taught you, you know, like why is Python, you know, important, and you know why uh, why Python is helpful, and why people prefer Python over other languages. And I, you know, I told you how to install Anaconda Navigator, which I have over here. And I thought you just basic, okay, just basics of installation and data science and stuff. And now we're going to go deeper into the coding process. So now, as I told you, click on launch in Anaconda prompter and it should open a local host tab as I showed you. So here's a local host tab. So uh, just hold on a bit. I will be just... So let me just open another Jupyter notebook. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll just go in that one. So I had created this some time ago just for practice. So let me just click a new notebook, Python 3. Okay, so now, um, so this is your Anaconda navigator. So you click on launch, just uh, I'll show you that. So here, as you can see, you click on launch in Anaconda navigator. Uh, it turns blue and then it will open you to a local host tab okay which is your actual uh, kernel so this is your interface of python last time i didn't you know start with this so now let's start with the basics of coding so now there are types okay I, we, talk, we saw what is data but there are types of data okay so first uh, let me just you know um say welcome to this class okay so that's there and then now let's start with coding so there are different types okay if you put a, a hash hash uh, under code it becomes a comment so there are four there are four data types okay four types of data now the first one is a string now what is a string a string is your normal text okay a string is your normal text let me just enlarge this real quick so as you can see the string is your normal text okay like hi my name is roshan you're currently watching arcade roots so the string is your normal text and it is denoted it is uh, denoted okay means you can denote a string uh, by using an apostrophe two quotation uh, to uh, an apostrophe or by using okay or by using double quotation marks so a single quotation mark a single quotation mark or you can say a double quotation mark now let's start okay so let's start with a string now, as I said, a string is a double quotation mark, a quotation marks. So I can type print, that is your print command, and under in parentheses and brackets, you type whatever text you want to convey. Okay, you type whatever text you want to convey in under the uh, quotation marks. So example, I want to type hi, but let me just type this, okay, hello. And if I print, it gives a syntax error because the text hello is not defined similarly okay similarly if i put this under quotation marks as you can see it turns into a red color okay it turns into a red color and this means it has identified it as a certain type now i can press shift enter that is a run command or you can click run over here as you can see at the top in the status bar as you can see many icons you can click run or you can press the shortcut let me just type that out or you can press a shortcut. Uh, the shortcut is shift plus enter. So if you press shift enter, it will execute. So I have print hello and as it is in red color, it has identified its type. And if you press shift enter, as you can see, it prints out hello. Now, how do you know if something is a string or not? Okay, so we print hello. So the, uh, the short form for string Okay, the short form for string for string is 
str okay str so now if i type str and under parentheses i type hello under quotation marks and i run it by using shift enter by clicking the run button okay as you can see so now this is a string so if you press type if you press type and hello under quotation marks as you can see it uh, shows a short form now what is the short form of string str so when you press type hello it shows this as a string for example if you don't want to put quotation marks just type str and hello as it is all as you already denoted as you already denoted as a string now just run it okay uh yeah hello okay i didn't define hello okay so yeah have hello yeah so as you can see i put double quotation marks okay and uh, it becomes a singular quotation mark now we learned about strings okay for strings you must see as i said i did not put the quotation marks as you can see it came as a syntax error because hello is not defined so it uh, it has to be under quotation marks okay even if you mention string now uh, this is string okay the string is your first type of text now the second data type the second type of data is your integer okay you all must have learned in maths okay integer an integer okay and uh, an integer now what is an integer in maths in maths integer is a number okay either negative or a positive number it's either negative number or a positive number but it has to be a whole number means uh, means uh, decimals do not come under integers so that's a different data type i'm going to talk about but an integer it is a uh, it's either uh, it's a number either negative or positive but it has to be a whole number okay it has to be a whole number no decimals okay no decimals okay no decimals now an integer is a number so same thing uh, for example i type print okay print um, and say 9 this is an integer or i can do the same thing with print um say minus 11 it prints out minus 11 and uh, the thing with integers okay uh, integers is you can as i told you the short form short form of integers is int okay so int 1 is it shows it as 1 okay uh you see that in some places output comes in some places output doesn't come i'll get to that in a sec i'll get to that later now if you press type and you press 1 because you know that 1 is an integer it shows you as an integer now the next type is a float okay is a float now a float is a floating point number now a float is an integer but it is a decimal integer float is a decimal integer now uh, for example i can type that um say print 1 it comes as 1 but if i say print um say 1 point it comes as 1.0 okay and you don't have to mention zero okay you can just type one point okay uh, uh 1.1 1.5 doesn't matter so now if i type uh, okay as you can see here if i type ta 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 no so if i say type and then say for example um type one point okay now it shows us as a float so uh it is a float it doesn't matter you can say 1.0 um say 1.1 so it doesn't matter but a float is a decimal integer now the thing with of uh, integers and floats 
is that you can do addition with them okay you can do addition with the floats now for example um uh, okay you can do addition uh, you can do any arithmetic op operation actually like addition subtraction multiplication division so for example i type 1 plus 1 and i execute it it is 2 uh, i can type uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 3 times 4 is 12 um say 25 times 25 div um, divided by 5 is 5 okay so as you can see this is a float so for example if i type 12 minus or uh, 12 divided by 4 it comes as a float so if when you get division it comes as a float but if you uh, like if you do double hashes it comes as an integer so uh, let's take this ex as an example 1 plus 0.5 it is 1.5 okay but then if i type integer 1.5 uh, 1.5 it uh, you know it denotes as a um it denotes as a whole number it's rounded off to the less whole number so uh, but in maths you know in maths you think that you know uh, in maths you say that you know 1 2 3 4 you have to round it out below but then 5 6 7 8 and 9 you have to round it out up but according to python 1 2 3 4 and 5 are you know lesser numbers so for example i can i type 1.6 um so it basically rounds at bottom okay so as you can see it doesn't round up it rounds down so in python when you're converting numbers it you know uh, it uh, always rounds down okay now uh, let's say so now you can perform any type of addition addition multiplication subtraction division i'll i'll give you a you know a more specific you know scientific uh, computer term but let's go that and now as i told you in some you see output but as you can see in some you do not see output and mainly in maths like 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 in arithmetic operations you see output whereas you know when i print out a statement it doesn't now there is a difference between printing by, by okay between using the print command and the direct command okay the direct command means you know just directly inputting it okay just directly you know uh, saying without a print command so say as you can see here two, uh, 3 uh, times 4 I did not use a print command so see this will be how it looks with a print command it gives the same option but as you can see this output is gone because a print command always just prints out you give something and just prints out but then in arithmetic operations when you directly do it you are getting an e you, like for each input you get an output so for example, uh, as I told you, you can do this as well, print, this is string, okay, because I put it in quotation marks, it's a string. So print hello, or you can also just, you can also just execute hello, and as you can see, this is an input, this is an input, okay, so I can also do input, hello, it inputs hello and you know I can type my name okay so then it will input hello Roshan so its output is Roshan so now as you can see uh, for example let's take an integer for example so as I said 1 is 1 you're giving an input and it gives an output but then if you click print 1 it's just printing what you did so that is a difference between print and not printing so a uh, printing just shows but then when you do not use a print command and I say directly uh, welcome for joining me okay joining this premiere you're giving an actual output uh, input and then it's uh, you're giving an actual input and then it's giving you an output so we discussed you know we discussed string we discussed integer and we discussed float now the last data type, there are four data types, okay, the last data type is called 
a boolean or in short just a bool okay now your boolean and bool is your typical true or false true or false okay true or false you can consider yes or no but then it's actually true or false so for example let me create a variable okay so let me create a variable say int1 int1 is equal to so i'm creating a variable when you you know when you uh, have some text without a string when you have some text and you put a equal sign you're assigning it a variable okay if you put a double equal sign it means the mathematical equal you know equivalent so uh, int1 is equal to 2 this is equal to 1 so i want the words int1 to represent the integer 1 so a string has to uh, represent a integer so i can type int 2 is equal to 2 so now i can type um say i can type uh, if uh, say if int 1 is equal is equal means a double arrow is equal to int 2 and then you put the colon print true else um else uh, else okay colon print false now as you can see it prints out false because int 1 integer 1 is not equal to integer 2 because 1 is not equal to 2 similarly if i change this to if i change uh, integer 2 to integer 1.0 just for now okay uh, uh, integer i integer i and then I make this 1. It can remain the same. Okay. So now you have integer 2. Since integer, uh, since 1 is not equal to 2, it prints it out as a false. Now, if you change this 2, as you can see here. Okay. If you change this 2, in, uh, if you change this 2 into a 1. Okay. If you change this 2 into a 1, just hold on. Okay, if you change this 2 into a 1 and you execute this, it prints 2 because 1 is equivalent to 1. Now, there's a, uh, you know, there's a connection between an integer and a boolean. Now, if I type int, okay, that is the command for integer as we learned. If I type int and within the int brackets, I type false. So, uh, you are trying to uh, categorize an integer you're trying to categorize an integer. You're trying to categorize a boolean as an integer. So if I execute this, it print, it gives an output 0. There's no print command. So if I output this, it gives an output 0. But similarly, if I type integer, in the integer parentheses, I type, say, true. So it gives the output 1. So in mathematical terms, false, false is equal to... 1 and true true is equal to 2 so as you can see you know false is 0 sorry for a uh, false false is equal to 0 and true is equal to 1 notice how i did them when I change the uh, when I change the boolean value to a small letter, you know it, it is not a boolean anymore. So it is it's necessary that it has to be a capital letter. Okay, now now let's go a little bit into you know text. So uh, I can uh, do text one text uh, text one is equal to uh, in uh, text one uh, text one is equal to say uh, uh today is sunday and um text uh say text two is equal to tomorrow uh, tomorrow is monday now if i if i uh, do uh, if i you can either print it or you can directly type text one 
comma text to today is sunday tomorrow is monday uh, let me try adding this as you can see you can add it and say today is sunday it adds both the strings so it uh, you know uh, it for, uh, adds the first string and then it attaches the second string okay as you can see here now i can also do this with integers okay say so int one i already showed you that int one is equal to two int two is equal to four so int one plus int two means it will add two and four and it will give you the output six now you can as i told you now as i told you up there just before i was talking about print commands you i told you that you can do all sorts of arithmetic operations like addition you know addition uh, subtraction multiplication multiplication division you know uh, and stuff so this is a little bit more advanced and you know you can actually customize your variables for addition okay okay and this is called uh, let me just create markdown okay uh, this is called user defined defined functions now what is a user defined function a user defined function is you define your own arithmetic operation by using a variable so this is done by using the define command def now i type define and for now it's since it's my channel uh, let me keep it rkd define rkd underscore add as a b rkd add is a b return as a plus b so when you print out when you uh, input rkd underscore add it will take the two values a and value b and it will add a and b and it will return you the output so you can do this for next one say i can define rkd subtract just sub for now if you haven't do it already so uh, and then i can type a comma b and do the same thing but then here i return a minus b so let me just do that say rkd multiply so i'll just do rkd multi uh, same thing a b return a into b i can do uh, define rkd divide so you know you can keep doing your own things so but make sure you know you do the arithmetic operation so for return make sure you do it correctly and you can also define uh, i am going to define rkd uh, div whole now rkd div whole means that it is going to divide a whole so a comma b don't forget to put the colon and uh, return a slash slash b as i told you slash slash means it round uh, you know it shows it as a whole so as you can see this is the uh, this and if i say uh, if i say uh, a is equal to since we are using a and b as our variable a is equal to let's keep it simple 2 b uh, is a, uh, let's keep it okay uh, a is equal to say uh, 10 and p is equal to 5 now if i do rkd uh, if i if you press tab okay it shows you you know all your uh, variables you created so uh, if I, I can do all of these things so if i uh, if i choose rkd add okay rkd add a and b it shows up 15 why because our a is 10 and our b is 5 and if I can do RKD, say divide. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, RKD divide, and I mention A and B. 
as you know when you do division it shows you as a boolean or i can do say rkd divide as a whole you know i can do rkd underscore divide as a whole and then i can mention the uh, variables a and b and as you can see it's two because when you put two slashes as i mentioned the rkd divide whole uh, it shows it as a whole number now i can do the same thing you know uh, say rkd uh, say i want to multiply and then i measure i you know do the factors a b 50 uh, subtract uh, a b 5 because 10 minus 5 is 5 so you know you can define your own set of operations this is called user defined function so you can define your own set of operations to perform a certain action so as i uh, as i said rkd add means i've defined when i when i input this rkd add command you uh, when i uh, input the rkd add command you should return an output of whatever fun uh, whatever vari uh, fun uh, variables you have given here so i can add many variables like i can add c equals uh, say c equals 15 d equals you know 20 and now all i need to do uh, is change this into c and d uh, okay yeah, I, I haven't defined c so you know you can uh, i haven't executed this now you can see 300 because 15 and 20 is 300 so whenever you make an whenever you make an uh, you know modification so i'm typing e is a you know e, e uh, just hold on yeah so i'm typing e is equal to uh, say uh, 25 make sure to execute this command first okay make sure to execute that command first and then do uh, you know uh, the others so if i want to add if i want to add say a and e it is i'm sorry uh, a and e it is 35 and you can also do you can add you can add uh, say a variable to an integer or a float so for example i can do a which is 5 uh, a which is 10 a plus 1 is equal to 11 or i can do a plus 1.1 uh, is equal to 11.1 so you know you can do all that stuff and uh, yeah i think we'll wrap it up uh, there today so i have taught you you know the four data types which is string it's short forms and its command then i have integers with short forms and command then the float and then i also taught you the boolean the boolean or bool uh, it is true or false and i also taught you how to find the type of an object and type of a variable by just you know doing the type command and in parentheses you know say i want to find hello under you know uh, uh, what do you say quotation marks and if it's in a quotation marks it's a string so it will execute this as str so yeah and then i taught you you know i taught you text addition i taught you you know how to find the integer of a boolean you know and then how to add text how to add integers you know um and then user defined functions like instead of using simple addition how you can you know execute your own uh, addition arithmetic sums like rk add sub you know you can you can create your own variables you know this world of python and coding it's a really big world and you know it's full of exploration like if you want to do something you know you can you know experiment you know you can create your own codes you can create your own programs and yeah i hope i made it useful for you I hope I made you understand, you know, all the data types and then, you know, the explanation along with user defined functions and a little bit more information here and there. Uh, please like and comment, uh, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, it's me, Roshan Kanna, signing off.